Greetings everyone. Today we'll be talking about classifying two-dimensional figures. What does classifying mean? Classifying is just about grouping figures based on their common properties or attributes or characteristics. So we're going to practice that today, but let's start with some non-math figures. Let's start with this adorable group of animals. And what's the most broad group I could put them in? Well, there may be some fancy science word, but let's just say they're all animals. That's one way we can group them. Now, could I subgroup from here? Sure, and I could do that in different ways, but for our purposes, let's just do cats and dogs. Now, could I break down the cat group and the dog group more? Sure, and I could do that in different ways, but let's go ahead and do that by breed. So for the dogs, I see that I have some shepherds and some terriers, and we could do our cats, but let's go ahead and just move on to shapes. So here I have many different shapes, and I wanna find some ways I could group them. Well, one thing I know is that each of them is indeed a shape. So there's my broad group. Now you might notice that some of them are 2D and some of them are 3D, so we could group them in that way. And then maybe I could break down my two dimensionals a little more because I see my circle isn't quite like his friends. So we have the polygons and the not a polygon. Let's try an example together. Here I have all kinds of fun math words. I'm going to try and put these in a hierarchy, a top to bottom grouping, based on their common characteristics. So let's just run through the characteristics quickly here. Parallelogram is a four-sided closed figure with opposite sides parallel. A polygon is just a closed figure. It has straight sides as well. A rectangle, closed four-sided figure, opposite sides are parallel. It has four right angles. A rhombus, also closed four sides two pairs of parallel sides, and it has four congruent sides. A quadrilateral is just a polygon with four sides. Trapezoid is a four-sided figure, and it has one set of parallel sides. My square, we know tons about squares. Closed four-sided figure, opposite sides parallel, it has congruent sides and congruent angles. Now, what I wanna do is find the broadest group and put that on top. So here the broadest group is polygon. That applies to everyone in the group. So I'm just gonna move that to the top and then we'll start messing with the others. Now I see that I can separate these by sides. They all have four sides. If I'd thrown a triangle in here, we could create a, another category for that. But they're all four-sided, so they're all quadrilaterals. I'm gonna put that under polygon and then we'll sort the rest. Another common item I see here is they all have two Wait, not the trapezoid. Everyone but the trapezoid has two pairs of parallel sides. So I can say those are all parallelograms, but my trapezoid's gotta go off on his own. He's a quadrilateral that doesn't fit in the category of parallelogram. Now from here, the rhombus and the rectangle are both parallelograms. The square is also a parallelogram, but it has things in common with both the rectangle and the rhombus. So I put the square under them, and then my beautiful little flowchart is complete. Let's try this with a table. Here's some different figures. Let's see what they have in common in our table. First category, polygon. We know close straight-sided figure. Everybody is a polygon. Parallelogram means opposite sides parallel. So yes, uh, one pair, but not all, both pairs, which is a parallelogram. Parallelogram's four-sided. That's a pentagon. That doesn't work. And this one is a parallelogram. How about some right angles? All of the angles are right angles here. None here, some on the bottom here, and none here. Acute angles, those are the ones smaller than 90 degrees. We don't have any here. We do have a couple on the bottom here. Doesn't look like any on the pentagon, and it looks like I have one pair opposite each other here. Obtuse angles, none here. The top ones in this figure, uh, looks like I do have a few on the top here, and then I do have one opposite set of obtuse angles here. Parallel lines, definitely in this rectangle. Looks like I have one set in this trapezoid. The right and left sides here on the pentagon, and both sets here of sides are parallel. Perpendicular means they meet at a right angle. My rectangle has right angles, so it also has perpendicular lines. None here because I don't have right angles. Here, yes, because I have right angles, and none here. Would you like to do one more just for fun? Okay, me too. Polygon. Straight, closed figure, yes, yes, no. Parallelogram, opposite sides parallel, yes, yes, no. Rhombus, remember a square is a special kind of rhombus where it has four congruent angles, so yes. 
This has four congruent sides and is a parallelogram, so that's a rhombus also, and no. Congruent angles, yes. Here, not all of them are congruent, but I have two sets of congruent angles, so I'm going to say yes there, no here. Congruent sides, I've got the congruent side markers. Those are all the same length, no. And symmetrical, I threw in just so the circle could participate. The square is symmetrical, the rhombus is not, the circle is. Okay, now it's your turn.